Thor issue 1 sees Mjolnir rocket through the Ten Realms at a speed yet unseen. The hammer makes its way to Earth, crashing through the atmosphere and towards New York, where the Avengers are battling a giant monster. The hammer blows through the monster's head, landing on the ground as Iron Man finds the hammer, asking if anyone has a sharpie. In Asgard, Thor calls his hammer back to him, impressed with the hammer throw he just took. Sif says it was a good shot as the hammer returns to him, prompting the King of Asgard to ask his friend if the Ten Realms require anything else from him, but Sif says that the Bifrost is under her protection now, and the King's smiting days are over, so he needs to stop hiding and actually go and be a king. Thor knows this, looking at the hammer, which has a message scrawled on it from Tony, telling him to enjoy his retirement. Sif says that becoming the king is all he ever wanted, but Thor wonders what is a king to a god. Thor takes the throne under the symbol of Thurizaz, the great thorn protruding from the side of the Tree of Life, symbolizing defense and destruction. Thor tells his people to leave him as Volstagg tries to talk about the upcoming feasts, but the man knows when to leave, telling the others to follow suit. Thor sits alone, but soon Loki approaches him, who knows his brother is nervous about taking the throne and having all of Asgard gathered outside to hear him speak. Thor reassures his brother that he isn't new to this, but Loki knows this is all different now since Thor is meant to inspire the people, not lead armies or defend themselves against armies. Thor tells his brother to bow, forcing Loki to bow before the king before telling Loki to leave. Picking up his hammer, he warns Loki should he enter Asgard without permission again, his ravens will rip his eyes from his skull. Loki makes a jab about the hammer getting heavier since he never once heard Thor grunting when picking it up. Thor angrily throws the hammer at Loki, stopping it just inches away from him. Loki asks how he is doing this and Thor says as all father, he has got some new powers and Loki will do well to remember it. Thor leaves the throne room, heading out to address his gathered people, but before he can, Galactus suddenly appears, falling into the crowd of people and killing hundreds. Thor jumps into action, demanding to know just what Galactus thinks he's doing. The World Eater tells him to stop, since he came for Thor's help, since he's the only one who can stop the Star Plague. Before he passes out, Galactus says the Great Black Winter is coming. In the weeks that follow, rain pours over Asgard, its thunder deafening the people. As the dead are counted, Volstagg finds the Tree of Life has been infected by a frozen death, slowly killing it off. Thor gathers the former heralds of Galactus, demanding they tell the king what the Black Winter is. Silver Surfer soon arrives, saying that it's the end of everything. Norrin asks what does Thor know of Galactus's birth, learning from Ghost Rider that he was an explorer of the galaxy and some unknown cataclysm killed his universe, transforming him into Galactus. Norrin says that it's not unknown now and it it was the Star Plague that turned him and it's the one true ending of everything. The surface says that they cannot stop it as the Black Winter has killed the universe before theirs, but Galactus is the only one to have survived it twice. Once as a normal man and then again only weeks ago when he escaped, crashing into Asgard and now he needs to face it again, but first he must feed. So the Silver Surfer reveals that he, over the years of service as a herald, collected rare worlds which, if were eaten, would give Galactus powers beyond imagination. However, he hid these worlds from Galactus. Surfer says that this is their only chance and he will become the herald again as Thor agrees, but says that he isn't going alone. Later, Thor suits up, remembering Sif's words of his smiting days being over and Loki noticing the hammer is getting heavier. Gathering his army, Thor confronts Galactus, ordering the being to kneel. The Surfer approaches him, knowing Galactus knows of their plan. Galactus is impressed Surfer could shield those planets from him in his mind and as their plan is enacted, Galactus stops them saying the Star Plague is not a being, and like how he is perceived differently by different races, the Black Winter is, since when you look at it, it is true death, and he's looked at it twice, once as a human when it appeared as a great blackness, but when he saw it again as Galactus, he knew the true embodiment of death was Thor. Galactus blasts the king, saying that he didn't happen upon Asgard, he deliberately came there since when they kill the Black Winter, he wants Thor to be close by so they can talk, but until then, Thor needs to rise as the new Herald of Galactus. 
Thor issue 1 began the King of Asgard's new adventure in a totally surprising, action-packed and dramatic way as Donny Cates brings his now classic approach to Marvel Cosmic to the God of Thunder's world. I really love the continuation of Thor feeling the weight of his crown, something we got a glimpse of at the end of Jason Aaron's run, and how Thor is still kind of unsure of himself as a king and what he wants to be as a king. I've always loved Cates' cosmic ideas for Marvel and this true death play of stars that's haunting the universe looks pretty damn awesome and it's even better now since Thor is a herald of Galactus of all things something I did not see happening so I'm totally on board for what happens next I'm gonna give this issue a 10 out of 10